Okay, well I've changed this a little bit. I felt that the roof skyrocketing up like that, it was a little over the top. You know, hyperbole is good in a painting, but in this one maybe only so much. So, I've put a couple of indications of trunks in here. Not so much that I'm going to paint the trunk, but I'm going to paint in between it or around it. Now, I'm going to indicate bush or trees, but I'm going to try to keep it just that as, 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 as indicators. Yeah, the ground balances off that, so I don't think I have to worry too much about which direction I take things in. Paint's very wet on there. which is probably going to cause me a bit of grief, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm trying with, with the direction <coughs> and the style of my brush strokes to give the feel of bush in the background, or trees rather, more than painting them. And that's something you will have to feel out as you're painting. There are no directions for that. <laughs> I'm using cobalt blue. And um, and ultramarine blue and yellow ochre and bits of burnt sienna. Keeping it reasonably warm. Trying to. As you can see, while I'm painting this in, shapes are revealing themselves in the background. Yes, that's intentional. And often not successful at all. Because I am creating shapes by, by uh, painting in negative space.
I may have to go over some of these strokes simply because the uh, my my uh, not my stain but my actual wash in is still very wet and it's not picking up paint quite as much as I'd like it to. Any, any more than I have to either and I think everybody can be susceptible to that at times that might be a bit too jaunty Okay. All right, still doing all right, I think. Maybe the foliage is a little bit thinner at the bottom and it's allowing some hint of distance poking through. I won't quite say sky, but give the impression of being able to look under and, and past a little bit. Hmm. Okay. Gonna mix up a little bit darker paint, just ultramarine blue, yellow ochre. Marine, no, or a bit of uh, burnt sienna, but no, no white. And rather than changing colors, in this little backdrop. I 
Maybe we'll just go in with some of that darker green. I probably don't even have to paint, but I'm probably don't even have to paint this what I'm doing right now, but yeah, there's something I kind of like about it. Mm. All right, leave the rest of the background to the imagination. Once that paint is dry, I may go into it and give it a little more cohesion. I don't know, I'm not worried. Oh, there's one thing I forgot here. There is one thing I forgot. And I'm pretty convinced that I would like to include it in this painting. Not quite as big of white as I was originally intending, but let's good break up that edge a little bit. Um, okay, we'll stop it there for the moment. One of the first things. Um, that you establish when you're going to uh, form your design for a painting is to uh, decide where the light's coming from. Typically. In this painting, I'd said earlier that the light was coming from above and a little bit to the left. My thinking at that point was because I wanted the direct, sort of some direct sunshine uh, highlighting this area um, on the roof. The cabin's kind of broken up, or the shed's kind of broken up. And I think I may change my mind on that. I think I'm not going to worry too much about where the light's coming from. It's coming from above. And that's the main thing. Maybe there's some trees behind us, or trees to the left or the right. So you'll have light filtering down and trickling down, you know, uh, through various areas. So aside from the light coming from above, it's not a big deal. I want to keep painting in this, but I can't. The, you know, it's, it was a stained canvas, and then over that was the wash-in canvas. I think I mentioned earlier that people leave, let, uh, let the wash-in show through. What I actually meant was I, I let, I, I, sometimes you let the stain show through and you don't even do a wash in or your washing is so loose that you're still allowing that first initial toning, tinting or staining of the canvas to come right through uh, in the final painting. Not the case here. So yeah, it's a stained canvas, it's well sealed, then I washed in over it, it's even better sealed and now it's pretty much still wet enough today that it's going to be painting wet and wet. I, I'm, I don't want to do that on this painting. I want, to, I want to try to keep it fairly strong and dramatic. This painting won't be dry enough to really grab paint from the brush until tomorrow. So, hello, goodbye. Uh, so I'm going to leave it for the day. I, I'm happy with it, you know. Things are slowly getting congealed, organized, what have you. It still looks uh, a little bit muddy, but that's going to change once I throw those colors in. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.